Hi, this is Nick with Wolfman Repairs, and today we got Donkey Kong 64. All right. So both this is not working. Let's see what it's doing. Come over here, Nintendo. It's doing nothing. That's what it's doing. Let's make sure it's not our N64. Put in our 007, we know that works well. And bam, 007. One more time, Donkey Kong. Nothing. All right, let's take Donkey Kong apart. See what it looks like on the inside. 3.8 game bit. I forgot, before you take it apart, let's look around it a little bit. Our label is in mint condition. If mint means destroyed. Same thing with our back label. That's pretty sweet. What do our pins look like? Well, they're there at least. All right, let's continue taking it apart. Oh, all of our tabs are broken off, so that's the thing. We got two tabs here that are broken, and we got tape. Sweet. Keep those two halves together for us. I don't know what's going on there, but that doesn't look good. It's got a Phillips head screwdriver now. These little screws out. Right? Well, I don't know what's going on here. That looks like a little corrosion, though. Might have a broken trace right there. What we got on the other side? What's there? What is that? Oh, it's just... Just corrosion. All right, let's try giving it a clean. See what happens after that. A little brass on a Q-tip. That's pretty dirty. Now we gotta clean this uh, here brass off. A little IPA on a Q-tip. There we go. Looks better. All right, let's do the other side. Wait a second. Is that a crack? Uh, it's just junk. Let's try cleaning it a little more. Yeah, that's just junk. Alright. Looks pretty good now. Yeah, so this trace here, right by the number 38, this is like a common issue with these Nintendo 64 cartridges. Like, because this plastic piece kind of rides up in there, right? Right on it. And if you get, like, liquid or something down here, it just sits there and kind of rots out the trace. I think that's what's going on here. Just looking at it. Let's go ahead and, since we cleaned it, slam it back into the... What is all this up here? Hold on a second. Look at all this. Huh. Yeah, this thing's definitely been uh, liquefied. You know, dropped in liquid somehow, somewhere along the all along the way. Yeah, 
But before we slam it back in the system, let's check for continuity everywhere. And let me see if see if I'm right about this here, Trace. Our multimeter. All right, this is the trace that we're questioning. Let's see. Okay, so we do have continuity in that trace. Let's check the rest of them. All right, we have continuity everywhere. Uh, what I'd like to do is um, let's slam back in the system and see if it works. And then what I'd like to do is see if I could come in here and clean up this corrosion a bit. Come back here, Nintendo. Oh, we still got nothing. Okay. Oh, there we go. All right, sweet. Don kind of just needed a little cleaning. Let's go look at that corrosion a little closer. It might need a repair, so let's go, let's take a look. Microscope, incoming. All right, so here's the spot I was talking about under the microscope. We can see here, there's a little bit of corrosion on this trace. So let's see if we can just clean it off with some IPA and see what it looks like underneath. We might have to go ahead and scrape this all off and uh, fix it, but <laughs> looks like it just kind of disappeared when we did that. So cool. I don't think this needs a repair. It just needs a really good clean. I mean, what is this? It's not even coming off. See what this is up here. Yeah, this definitely had some uh, some spillage, for sure. That's what that looks like. It looks like water damage or something. Something got in this cartridge. Yeah, I'm going to say this is fine for now, but eventually this private area will probably need some attention. You can see that the solder mask is a different color than the solder mask here. So this here is a nice bright green, and you got a darker green here. Let's just give it a little scratch. You see the solder mask come right off? I'm not even pushing hard. We don't have a break there, but we do have, we did have corrosion underneath that solder mask. There is a little hole there. So this 
maybe a few more years or whatever this could have been a problem but there is a little hole right there all right so what I'm going to do since we scraped the solder mask away in this area let's just scrape this a little bit more what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here with some solder some flux and then a little solder mask so a little flux Clean this up. Oh, <laughs> this trace is coming right off the board. That's what's what's going on here. So this trace was weak to begin with, and we came in here and heated it up. Let's get a little more flux in here. Just make sure we still have continuity. And we do. Sweet. Let's try this off. Yeah, I'm gonna put a little solder mask over that. I'm going to hit it with a UV light for a minute, and I'll be right back. Alright, it's been about a minute. This should be nice and hard now. Oh yeah. Sweet. Alright, let's get the microscope out of here, and throw Donkey Kong back together. Microscope, outgoing. All right, it's sweet. There's our repair. It looks all right. Now, did we really have to repair it? I don't know. We could have just left it, but who knows? A couple years from now, go to play, it doesn't work. It's because it's all rotted out in that section. It's a little preemptive repair, if you will. Is that how you say it? I don't know. Let's slam this thing back together. Let's we'll see what we got now. I mean, it worked before. It should still work, right? You never know what me, though. Okay. All right, Donkey Kong. Can we play now? Oh yeah. Donkey Kong 64. Alright. Alright. So thank you guys for watching. Donkey Kong 64 just really just needed a bit of a clean. And that little preventative repair there. So that we don't have issues with it in the future. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it very much. And we'll see you next time.